Is the camera rolling? Okay, I can see the light blinking. So, let's go. Okay, this is not a regular tutorial or a review video like the rest of the videos in this channel. So I bought a Resolume plugin from KPT Hippo and whatever you saw in the start of this video was done with it. This is called Cube3D. So in this video, we have the Hippo who made this plugin. So first question, what makes you so awesome? I am awesome because I am a talking hippo. And what about Zunaid Sabir Ahmed? You are awesome because you share all your knowledge and artistic and technical <laughs> skills with everybody. So let's dive in. Let's say I'm going to work on this camera. I'm going to drop cube 3D straight up. So it pops up with a cube. First, let's see what we can do. So we have size and we have front width so we can make weird boxes maybe non-square maybe rectangular boxes what is non-square <laughs> so we can also make the edges rounded so we can put them to ping pong and rotation and there are functions so there is ping pong and these are ping pong functions and this is just auto so there we have under that we have lighting control oh my god this is so good this lets you control i love mostly the specular and shininess it's almost like a 3d software it's here and load at as faces let's try let me try add another one let's say we have three faces okay one of them are repeated so let me just drag another one Ta da we have three faces so i can now load them on these faces let's say for the front face i want to have image one that's good i could have any image but i wanted image one for the back face i wanted image two so now i have two images so when i was working with this i kind of had a feeling that i wanted something more than photos so i have a surprise coming up for you i'm not going to disclose right now so wait till end not only that we can add a frame let's say we want a square frame and we want our square frame to be narrow like this maybe this has an offset oh this feels good by the way i could control the rotation here let's say i want no rotation nowhere to start first let's have some x rotation no i want y rotation speed maybe that so let's check out transition this one has two awesome buttons so let's say we want to take it out this goes away by the way in the layer one i am having the same camera in a very low opacity so don't worry about me so if i press in my model gets back so we could of course control how far it goes the position x of out okay size out i don't want that small maybe 40 percent when it's totally gone so this stays within the frame oh by the way you could edit this part and change the about to whatever here let me type something oh this says subscribe to my channel i didn't so do it okay if you are new or you have been using resolume for a while but you think you need a proper ground up training from basic to intermediate level, check out Resolume Masterclass, an online module-based training. 
I'm glad many of the user already enrolled and completed this course. That gives me the privilege to give you a 50% discount. The promo code will be hidden somewhere in this video. So follow along. So now let me break down how the intro of the video was made. So I have one layer. This is my camera in layer one. And for some reason, I use layer three, not layer two. For this camera again, I have a cube 3D with this. So to start, I have to zoom out. Okay, even before that, to sell the effect, I'm going to add a drop shadow after my cube 3D effect. I can of course control the direction of the drop shadow. So I can make this little bit smaller. This is my X rotation. By the way, my X rotation is not total 360 degree. This is going to, this would just spin crazy. So I have limited this. This one is my Y rotation. This one is my Z rotation. By the way, I could put them into auto anytime I want. This would start spinning. So now I can control the spin of my X. This is the speed of my Y. This is the speed of my Z. So I can, of course, mix them down to somewhere crazy, wherever I want. So now let's try ping pong. We have set our ping pong speed to our audio input. So we can go ping pong. Ping, 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 pong, 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 pong. Okay. So we can also control the ping pong speed and Y minimum, Z minimum, and, and the whole range. Okay, the next cool part would be light control. Just check this out. How beautiful this light control is. By the way, I have set the light control. I have set the lighting amount to audio. So it's affecting with my voice. I can change the position. Beautiful part is shine. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, looks good. Okay, many of you ask me, what are my recommendations for VJ computers and accessories MIDI controllers for this year? So I made an in-depth research and created four types of VJ kit under four range of budget. I am going to leave a link in the description. Check that out. Okay, if anyone asks me for crack, I just block them. Just say, you know whom I'm talking to. This is just 29 euro. Even before that, give it a try. There is a button called try in juice bar. Have you tried it? Let me get one thing straight. This plugin is awesome for me. That doesn't mean this is going to be cool for you. So I strongly suggest you give it a try before spending your money behind buying stuff. You could be buying something else, but give it a try. And when you are certain that you need that plugin, pay that money to get rid of that juice bar watermark. Take it like that. About Resolume Masterclass, use this promo code to get 50% discount. Shh, don't share it with anyone. This is just for you. So I asked the hippo who made this plugin, what's next with Cube 3D? Well, that's a secret, but the next version will let you import mm. up to six videos onto the Cube's faces, not just images. So get your GPU ready. Yes, my GPUs are ready, but I wonder how they're going to work with Apple Silicon. Mm. Hi, my name is Zunaid Sabbir Ahmed. I'm from a beautiful country called Bangladesh. Check out this video next where I have made an awesome VJ kit with a tiny Mac mini. You're going to love. See you there.